Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. Mm. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Got it. Finally. Was never in doubt. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane.
I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. Both the Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in Falls Count Anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of Falls Count Anywhere matches on WWE 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of the most brutal matches of your career, quite like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night. What an idiot. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly how all your wits about you. It could quickly lead to error. Going after the neck again. Yeah, he's likely on Dream Street right about. Focusing on the head again. That thing's got to be pounding right now. He's really making it a point to go after his head. And he's showing no signs of letting up, which is the scary part. Lost in the corner right now. No, oh, he's got him where he wants him. Here we go. Uh, oh, more abuse to the neck area. This is getting tough to watch, Michael. Going after the neck again. Yeah, he's likely on Dream Street right about now. Boom. A leg drop. AJ Styles beginning to peter out here. In his current condition, the stipulations are to his disadvantage. Everything in this match is legal, and we have cameras all over the arena. So wherever these superstars' imagination takes them, you won't miss any of the action. And you need a limitless imagination to win a match like this. You have to stay on the attack because fortunes can change with just one move. Yeah, especially in a situation where a limitless amount of real estate is your battleground. He might have been waiting on that one. And the assault continues. If this keeps up, this match will likely be over sooner rather than later. Look at this. He's really making it a point to go after his head. And he's showing no signs of letting up. That'll leave you stunned. Not just stunned, Michael, but in some major pain as well. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Not again. Going after the neck again. Yeah, he's likely on Dream Street right about now. The assault continues. If this keeps up, this match will likely be over sooner rather than later. Nice job breaking out of that one. But there's plenty more. He's really making it a point to go after his head. And he's showing no signs of letting up, which is the scary part. Just a relentless attack on the head here. Oh, it's like the thing has a target on it or something. Looking to end this. Omega driver. A will it be?
Let's watch again how AJ Styles was toppled tonight. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here is your winner, Connor Crystal. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. AJ Styles is going to have to work a little bit harder to become a true contender in the WWE. I have no doubt he will. I don't think anybody would have expected anything less from a match here at Extreme Rules. That was the absolute definition of vicious. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That's right. Now I remember. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. Uh, this is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar uh, to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalia is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. And look at Frupp delivering the suplex. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. And the slam! Natalia's a third-generation superstar and extremely confident, but pedigree and confidence can only get you so far in WWE, especially in a match like this. What does Natalia have to do here to pull out the win? I think it's pretty obvious. Natalia's best strategy has to be soften her opponent's back to prepare for the patented Hart Family sharpshooter. That's the ace in the hole and the reason why Natalia's so confident. Double chicken wing applied. Oh, again. Changes her fortune there. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Jawbreaker! Call the dentist! Evading possible disaster there. What's this? Uh. Michinoku driver! Oh. Absolutely planted. She's got her in her sights. Uh-oh. Uh Shot to the back. 
rolling cutter. The referee is calling for the bell. The match is over. Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's... Interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. You can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call, there was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. Hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver! Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. 
You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Gord Wilson here, welcoming you back to Calgary Musings, your guide to living in the Stampede City. You know, it's that time of year where I like to remind everyone that in just a couple of short months, winter will be back. So while you're out enjoying the end of summer, keep in mind that pretty soon you'll be trading in tank tops for toques and sandals for skates. My point is, it's never too early to take inventory of last season's winter gear and make sure everything is ready to go before the first blast of cold air hits. Like I always say, you don't want to be caught with your snow pants down. One thing that isn't seasonal, however, is Calgary's love for professional wrestling. Which brings us to our sponsor for today's show, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. Let's hear from the man himself. Hi, I'm Riley Flash. You may know me from WWE television when I carried the Macho Man's fancy chair to the ring or the time Papa Shango set my feet on fire. Uh, nowadays, I'm helping mold the superstars of tomorrow. So if you think you have what it takes to step in the ring, come on down to Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And for a limited time, if you mention this ad, your first training session is completely free, other than a one-time non-refundable initiation fee. So if you think you have what it takes, then give me a ring, and I'll see you in the ring. Riley Flash is not affiliated with WWE in any way whatsoever. All sales final. For a road trip game, if you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 225 pounds, Connor Crystal. 
Here we go. This is the match a lot of these people came to see tonight. And with good reason, Michael, this one's been brewing for quite some time. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance. Things just got a little rowdier. And his opponent from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds. Rowdy, Rowdy Piper! The legendary Rowdy Roddy Piper. WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats. Yeah. Roddy Piper's entire career has been predicated on being controversial. When you think you've got the answers, Hot Rod changes the questions. So you know when you're on a long drive to the next town and to pass the time, you start coming up with dream match scenarios? Well, these two facing each other is exactly that. These are certainly two of the top names to ever pass through the Great White North. When I'm on a long drive, I'm mostly just thinking about how grateful I am to be Byron Free at the time. Ah, uh, you know you miss me. Not a chance. What a punch! Headlock. Oh, again! Oh, flipping the script on him there. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Wow, what a sequence. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Incredible drop. Uh. Oh, man, a back break. Gross. How, how dirty is that? Wasn't expecting that. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. This match grinded him down a little. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. You're watching cable television's hottest show. It's Monday Night Raw. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. Welcome back. We're live on Monday Night Raw, middle of an outstanding matchup. He's definitely being the aggressor here. Yeah, showing some great technique and full of energy right now. He has something big planned. Oh, what a forearm. Huh? That's, here's your favorite, Corey. Brilliant. Ah, oh, he's in a bad spot now. Yeah, he's got to find a way out of that corner. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Oh, right 
to the throat. Escapes in a nick of time. And he's heading back in. Look out. Here we go. Ooh. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. Oh, oh my God. Beautiful oh. reverse STO. Face first. Up and knee drop. Jeez. Got the uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it. Oh, foot just stomping down. That's how you wear down your opponent. And Roddy Piper slips out of harm's way. Piper making him pay. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Well, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. Penny predicament. Two. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Man, this was great. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. You're watching WWE Live from Los Angeles, and boy, is this crowd fired up. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So... Thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <sighs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. 
Is Brett home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Brett! Two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's... housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home? No. And he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. Probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the Hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Hmm.
Get your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that.
It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey! What was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great! Who are we gonna face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be one. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omley. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch? <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. 